Brad, here we are, Legends Night. A lot of cool bikes out here, a lot of stuff going on. Who's some of the guys are going to be here? Uh, it's a cool night, you know, on Legends Night. We honor the Trailblazers, which is an organization of motorcycling pioneers. And part of those guys is Tom White, Brian Farnsworth, a lot of really cool guys from the day. And in addition, we have some Speedway greats here. And, you know, along with names that you'll know and you'll see that guys are coming and going all night. Indeed, we have Living Legends Racing Speedway with Mike Faria, Bobby Schwartz, Sean McConnell. But uh, my dad, Harry Oxley, who's the godfather of Speedway, and none of us would ever have gained any success without him, will be here tonight, which is a big honor for myself. And uh, Bruce Penhall is being honored in the Motorsports Hall of Fame. So we're going to uh, welcome and uh, talk about that tonight because that's very important. Uh, the Motorsports Hall of Fame has hardly any motorcyclists in it. They're all like Indy 500 dudes like AJ Foyt and Al Unzer, of course, are in there. But now Bruce Penhall has joined them, so that's real cool. And Ivan Major, who is uh, on the books, the greatest speedway racer ever, seven-time world speedway champion, four-time long track champion no one else has really even got close to that um, is here cool. and so uh, then you know a whole group of riders that rode in the uh, 70s and 80s uh, will be here and, and we're just kind of waiting to see which of those uh, show up so we'll have an autograph session with some of those guys yeah we'll have a full program of speedway motorcycle racing We'll have a lap of legends with some of these really cool bikes. Billy Hamill is on the program, who has to be mentioned as a legend of Speedway. In my opinion, the most exciting Speedway racer that I have the privilege of watching. I love to see Billy Hamill, and that will make the show super special. Yeah. So I just think all around it's kind of... Um, building up to be a fun and exciting show with just a lot of great guys that we owe the longevity of the Costa Mesa Speedway to personalities like the people who we are honoring tonight. And I see there's some custom bikes out here. I saw a bike 1912 and there's some old Speedway bikes and stuff. It's like There's this 1912 Pierce over here. Yeah. There's these really cool Joker machine road racing bikes that are just too nice to even be sat on yeah. that they actively race in a vintage racing series. Yeah. There is these beautiful Bobby Schwartz's beautiful ESO, which is so original and authentic. It wins first place in almost every bike show it goes to, even against bikes that are valued at you know way more, ten times. Yeah. It's just so rare and cool. And Jack and Cordy's authentic championship winning. Um, JAPs are here, the ones that they actually rode in Wembley, England uh, in the 1937 World Championship, which is what a lot of the glory of American Speedway and Costa Mesa Speedway all goes back to the 1937 World Championship where Americans finished first, second, and third. Wow. And that was amazing at the time because the favored riders, um, they weren't even among, really, the favored riders, and they were, who are these guys? Right, from right. Pasadena, California. <laughs> and that was Jack Milne, first place, Cordy Milne, second place, and Lammy Lamoureux, third place, all childhood friends. Wow. So, uh, it's a really, really cool night, and um, I think you'll see, even though we've had a hard time in the past getting a good crowd out here for this great night, mm -hmm. We'll see how that goes tonight, but for sure we will have an awesome crowd of just really worthy competitors who are just great guys and deserve to have um, this honor, you know, in, in the memory of what they've done. Right. I'm so much looking forward to it. And because of that, the riders back in the pits are super keyed up and a lot of people want to win this Jack Milne Cup, the Jack Milne Cup is the Queen's Coronation Cup from 1935. When the Queen Mum was coronated, that's their process of putting her into power, yeah. they had an honorary race at Wembley Stadium. And the Queen Silversmith made this cool little cup. Mm -hmm. And it became, uh, Jack Milne won it at Wembley Stadium in 1935. And passed it on to me when I was an 11 year old 
kid, I saw it in the shop, and Jack never showed off any trophies or anything, and he said to me, I said, oh, that's a really cool trophy, and he said to me, you can have it. It sat in my bedroom for 30 years. Really? Finally, I decided, after Jack had passed away in 1995, mm -hmm. that it would be, of course, no one deserves the honor of having a cup race in their memory more than our founder and, and inspiration, Jack Mill. Right. So I took this Queen's Coronation Cup that had been on the counter, I took it down to our local silversmith, the guy looked at the markings, he goes, man, this came from the Queen's Foundry. This is the real thing, it's sterling silver, it commemorates the Queen's Coronation. I never really knew how amazing it was, I used to keep my change in it. <laughs> so we cleaned it up, we mount it to a cool base, we've been We've been putting the name of the winner for the last, I don't know, we'll have to look at the trophy. It's been at least 15 years. Yeah. Oh, since 95, I just said. 95, yeah. Over 20 years. Wow. Uh, so, everybody wants to have their name on the Jack Millen Cup. Yeah. And um, I think you're going to see you guys really going for that tonight. All right. Pretty special night. We're looking forward to it. Thanks so much for you guys being here and supporting us. And, um, and uh, let's just have a good, fun night. And thanks a lot.